Hello everyone. It's a pleasure reaching out to you from here in Nigeria. My name is M. Tommy of Peace Ark Ministry. Please, I would like you to subscribe so that you'll be the first to watch my next episode. Thank you. God bless you. This video is a warning and also a call to remembrance for all sons and daughters of Squan and Emmanuel TV partners. I want to put something side by side for you to understand. Remember the very last word of our father, Prophet T. Joshua, on the prayer mountain while speaking with the uh, Emmanuel TV partners in Nigeria. He said, watch and pray. If you come back to the Bible and look at where, when Jesus made that statement, watch and pray, you will know that it's a very, that was a very significant statement and it's still a very significant statement. But it seems you are not watching and praying. That's why we are carried away by all forms of information and everything that is happening. Remember what he said while he was alive. He said, your faith must be tested in a real situation. Now, there's a real situation before us. He said, even when everything around you seems to be unsteady, stay steady. The Holy Spirit is in control. When Jesus was close to his last hour, that is the hour of his death, he made that statement, watch and pray. And when our daddy too was close to his hour of death, he made that statement, watch and pray, because he knew that when he leaves, things will not be the same again. And he was trying to say, watch and pray so that you not fall into temptation. That's a call for all of us, all of us today. Let me take you to the Bible, the book of Matthew chapter 26 from verse 40. You can read from the first verse, you know. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Couldn't you men keep watch time for one hour? He asked Peter. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. That is the same question is spitting out to us today. Can't we keep down for the main time till everything unveil? Why are we so disturbed by all, all forms of rumors? Your faith must be tested in a real situation and this is a time to put our faith into action. We remain calm and steady even in the midst of you know, war and everything. Things may not appear the way they are. We are all here. It's not good to be emotional. Remember what that used to say? It's not good to be emotional. When you're emotional, you will not be strong. You'll be discouraged. You'll be thrown to the left and right. You, in short, everything will weaken you. You have to be focused. See, one thing is certain in all this thing we are talking about. We don't care who is involved. Anyone that rebelled against mommy, Evelyn Joshua, is not fit to be under her administration. Some of them were so loyal to that and they're not loyal to her. The best thing is, if you, if, you, if you know you can't stay under her and you are too big to be under her, you leave. God can use anybody and anything to do what he wants to do. God will not do this because of that person or this person or that person. He can use anybody. He can use anybody to do what he wants to do, except he doesn't want to do it. Now look at that proper portion in the book of Matthew chapter 26, verse 40 and 41. And now come back to what daddy said. If you look at what Jesus said, he said, watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. Daddy said the same thing. He said, watch and pray. He knew that this temptation will come. All these things will happen. And he said, watch and pray. What we should do right now is to watch and pray. Focus. Keep your focus. Stay steady. Very soon, you will understand. Listen, how do you like it or not? This is the truth, the bitter truth. Things cannot be the same way as it was because that daddy was a very unique person on his own. And mommy is going to be a very unique person on her own. Though we know that there are some foundations and culture of uh, squand that will not be, you know, that cannot be overlooked. But in the same vein, things cannot be the same. People will rebel. People want to prop up their shoulder. Right now, she needs very loyal people to work with her. She needs very obedient people to work with her. Just this morning I spoke. I found out that I don't know. We are saying disciples, the people that were there, I spoke with disciples this morning. 
Life, life for the church. So please, as I said, don't be distracted. Keep watching and praying. Pray for the success of mommy. Pray for the success of Squan. Pray for the success of Emmanuel. This is a warning to all of us. Don't forget that word. That your faith must be tested in a real situation and you have to watch and pray so that you will not fall into the temptation. Temptation of listening to everything you hear. Temptation of being emotional. Temptation of ah, fear. Fear is a more deceptive enemy than death itself. Fear is a more deceptive enemy than Satan itself. These are all the words of daddy. It's time for us to remember those words now and put them into action. God bless you. I'm here to make sure I give you every vital information. I will not tell you what I don't know anything about. I will not tell you what I can verify. Everything I tell you will be what I can verify and one can, can bullet and look at this is true. So let's watch and pray. The main thing is that let's watch and pray. God bless you. Please subscribe. Good morning and win today. Peace.